Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to Overwatch. Now remember when I last played it, I opened up this loot box and we managed to get this legendary Widowmaker skin. So it only makes sense to make the next video all about here. Today we're going to be playing some Widowmaker and I'm going to try my very best to snipe some nerds. Alright, so we're on the Temple of Anubis, that means that we have about a minute right now to go ahead and set up our defenses. Basically, for our team, it's going to be the goal to make sure that the attacking team, which is the other five nerds that spawn on the other side of the map, are not going to be able to capture A, which is right over to the left here, and then also, um, they will have to capture B, but they do get some additional time for that. We win, however, if they do manage to capture it in time. Now, there is one really crazy good spot over here. That is also the most terrifying one, I'm not gonna lie. Like, they can easily spot me from over here, but it only makes sense. We got a Mercy that is sitting right there, and that Mercy is obviously giving me additional damage. I managed to get up over here, by the way, using the Grappling Hook, which is one of the main skills. And I also have a Venom Mine that I can activate that deals damage over time to enemies that are called within. But I guess we just simply have to zoom in. And as you can see, there's like a power meter as well, but we simply just have to zoom in. Snipe whoever we can find. Okay, looks like we've got a May. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. Oh my god, Soldier 76. I shouldn't really, I shouldn't really need multiple shots like that. Sadly, I did get a hit on him, but didn't quite kill him. Well, let's get back on the high ground. Ugh. Really unfortunate so far, but we can also just use the rifle that we got to our, you know, abilities here. To just simply go ahead and take someone out just like that. And actually, you know... Oh my god, I haven't actually hit anyone yet. That's not good. All right, let's get back up there. Let's get back up there Gotcha Didn't get ya. Obviously it does take multiple hits actually to get taken out sadly Which does um, take us quite a little bit of time. I'm just simply gonna go ahead and put up my venom mine once again But as you can see so far we're doing quite a good job. Just not allowing them through these double doors We can also hug this area here and shoot that um, Soldier 76 down. Now you do get additional strength with the zoom in. The longer you zoom in, well obviously there's a limit on it, but it's relatively easy to spot. Oh my god. Gotcha. As you can see, like there's a little bit of a hit marker that shows like 100%. Oh. <laughs> that was close. That was real close. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this healing globe as well as get some healing here. <laughs> he was basically standing in their spawn. Now we do have Infrasight ready to go. And Infrasight is a really powerful ability as it gives you the ability to basically get a, um, basically in a map hack. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot her down as well and then activate my ultimate. So while we definitely didn't have the perfect snipes addition, or like initially. <laughs> We're doing a little better right now. We are on fire. Ba -ba -da -ba. Fa Come on, Loco. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Oh, come on. She can see me as well. She's seeing me. They're all seeing me, man. This is terrifying. No, no, not feeling it. Let's get back up here instead. We are still getting that extra damage boost as well, which is really nice. I'll go ahead and grab this extra bit of armor. Actually, I already got it. Alright. Alright. So we're doing a really good job holding them back for the moment at least. What? Oh come on, I definitely had her. Did we shoot each other? How did that even happen? Sold or like uh, like Widowmaker versus Widowmaker? How did we like possibly shoot each other at the exact same moment? Wow. Fascinating. Alright then. Time to get back into the battle. So far so good. We got nine eliminations and six final blows. As you can see though, I still managed to miss quite a couple of my shots there. So there's definitely still a lot to be done. You can, by the way, use the grappling hook as well to, you know, get across the terrain a little bit faster. Um, there is a relatively long cooldown on it of, I believe, 12 seconds, which does take a little bit. So I can't quite, you know, grapple hook way up there again. But we can get over there right now. Sort of stand here in the background, try to minimize the amount I get. Alright. Oh my god. I would have, I would have sworn I got them, actually. I can still, by the way, shoot on that shield just fine. Gotta be careful, though. Then quite... Oh, there's another Widowmaker. There's so many Widowmakers in this game. It's kind of insane. What? I was gonna say, how is that not a hit? Alright, ultimate time. Ultimate, once again, provides us with a map hack. And that's not just for me, by the way. Really important to point out. 
it actually does count for the entirety of the team as well. Which is a lot. Now sadly, you know, they're not really going through here, so I'm not getting too much value out of my ultimate. But, there's only one minute remaining right now, and I do have to continue onwards here, trying to grab the objective. I'm just keep shooting at Reinhardt's shield. Oh, we got, <laughs> we got an accidental kill. I'll take it. I'll take it. And so far, so good. Now, I would say that this map is relatively favored uh, for the defending team, just because you actually have yourself a lot of extra time. I mean, these are the only doors they can go through, and with that comes the, comes the obvious fact that as long as you manage to defend that area, all is good. Now, we do finally do get taken out there. However, we got revived as well by Widowmaker, which is really nice of her. Got the counter kill here. We're starting to at least, like, shoot a little bit more accurately. Everyone's just dying, though. Everyone's just dying. Oh, God. Alright, then. Alright, alright. Let's not get too risky. That Mercy player is doing really well as well, giving us a, a lot of additional uh, strength. They are going on a D.Va right now, but only two seconds remaining. We just simply pick up the victory just like that. So 13 eliminations here and 9 final blows in the first game. We were on fire for quite a lot of it as well. I love that Reinhardt pose. <laughs> He's going for it, but we managed to get the play of the game here as Widowmaker. Yeah, so that's I guess when we, um, you know, start shooting those nerds down that get right around the corner. We get a first hit, then a second hit as well. That was, that was quite alright. I didn't feel like that was the most amazing play, but hey, we managed to squeeze out the victory. Let's play some more. Alright, and for the second game, we got lucky once more because we find ourselves on the defending team on Fulskaya Industries. And I would definitely recommend playing Widowmaker primarily on the defending teams, just because it's much easier. Now, on this particular map, the attacking team will have to go ahead and capture A, at which point they have to capture B. There's no, like, escorting of a payload or whatever. Um, and this is A right here. Now, A has definitely got some really nice positions that we can use to our advantage. For example, they're always, no matter what, gonna come through these double doors, right? Which is actually quite good for us. But initially, we're actually gonna stand right up here in this, like, little archway. Now, obviously, or archway, rather. It obviously kind of depends on what kind of composition they're running, but this definitely has a lot of potential for us. They're either gonna come through the middle, through the right side of the map, I suppose, or through the left. And we can cover this entire area just by ourselves, right over here. So I'm just gonna sit right in this little area, and hopefully someone will actually move through here. Obviously, do want to sort of aim for headshots, but looks like they're actually decided to go over there instead. Oh my god. Oh, I did get a huge hit off there on Senyata, but not quite enough. I do really like covering this area, though. Ugh. Oh, come on, Loco. You could do better than that. Alright, they're already on A, apparently. Time to move over. There is a May. May is not all that terrifying, to be honest. Sadly, ugh, we're gonna need to move over because I am getting shot at. So far, they're dealing with me really well. Gotta go ahead and put my damage over time skill right around that area. And I guess we can try and snipe down. Um, we can try and snipe down a couple of these dudes. Obviously, whenever it's a close quarter combat, I'm gonna try and use my rifle instead, which definitely is a lot better at that. Okay, let's get the kill there. Adieu. <laughs> we are from France. Forgot to mention that. Oh man, some of these hit markers are so extremely small that they're really difficult to hit. She doesn't have really very much life at all, but you can see the accuracy on that ability is super, like, super terrible. Alright, we'll go ahead and grab this healing globe. So I always feel like I'm one of the few people that actually, like, use healing globes. But so far, we're doing a pretty good job of, like, preventing them through this area. Uh, we don't really want them to take A. The ability did just get targeted, so that's pretty good for us. I did get a hit there, but sadly didn't quite kill her. Oh, I think there's gonna be people that are gonna be stupidly good on Widowmaker. I mean, she's relatively sustainable, really, compared to some of the other heroes out there. She actually can definitely take a bit of a punch, and she can definitely take a bit of a beating. It's not like you go down really quickly. They get a hit there, luckily. Ultimate, ready to go. Okay. Did get the... Oh, did get the ability on me. Did once again hit her as well, and she does end up falling there because of the... Uh, because of the... Uh, justice is rained from above. 
Okay, that works as well. Who's on there? What? Oh, what? I thought she was down for sure. Oh man, oh man, I am so low. <laughs> Not quite enough. And they do actually go ahead and kill me right now as well. A little unfortunate for us. But um, we probably would have gone down here anyway. Actually, it was me that killed me? Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't even think she would hit me. Now, we do have a Symmetra on the team, which allows us to get back to the battle really quickly. And that's great for us, because... Well, that obviously means we can try and prevent them from winning this game. They get a headshot there. Headshots do do additional damage. Oh, God. Woo! Ultimate. Man, they're, they're fighting me so aggressively here, I can't do very much with myself. Okay. We're once again on fire quite nicely though. And the dragon has consumed their enemies, which prevents them from capturing this objective once more. Gotta head over towards this high ground once more as well, and... Oh man. I'm definitely not the greatest of greatest snipers, but... Things are looking quite alright for us. I'm actually out of health. <laughs> really need to go ahead and grab myself some. Otherwise, one, like, you know, stray bullet can accidentally kill us. And in particular, when there's a Vara out there, that can easily happen, just like that. Got her. <clears throat> Heart scoping is a bit of, like, a mandatory thing. Oh, man. I thought I had her. Not quite, not quite. There's actually multiple of her. Oh no, that's actually, uh, yeah, we're, we're actually first in... Well, we were first in emulations and final blows there. 50 seconds remaining, but it looks like they're doing quite alright for the moment to try and capture it. And sadly, the teleporter on Symmetra has now also disappeared. Which makes it really difficult for us to continue onwards. Alright, they did manage to get... Um, oh, the teleporter is online, but... I don't think we're gonna be able to go there, at least for the moment. Um, I was gonna say, like, we need to, like, try our very best to get them off of the payload. Did get the kill. That's nice. Ten seconds remaining. So far, so good! And while we may have not gotten the play of the game this time around, or at least I doubt it... Well, they're actually capturing it right now. I'm just gonna stand on the high ground, though. No need to, like, really risk it. Oh, whoa. That's unfortunate. Diva does get a new uh, mech from that, but hey! We picked up the victory. <clears throat> Once more, I gotta say, I really do like this skin. It looks really sick. Looks like the McCree player this time around does get to play the game there. Oh yeah, this is his ultimate here. Basically his ultimate will stick to a certain target. Wow! And the only reason why he didn't get Senyata is because Senyata just used his ultimate. And uh, he is basically invulnerable while that is going on. Let's play one more, okay? Let's play one more. Alright, and for the final game, we find ourselves on the attacking team on the Foskaya Industries, and we have completely demolished the starting area here. Alright then. We'll just have to try our best to make sure we don't get sniped down ourselves right from the beginning. But this is fine. Oh, well, sadly do end up missing the first two shots. Are you gonna try again? Oh, come on! How was that not a hit? Alright then. I guess it's positive because, you know, it wasn't a hit. I guess, you know, that's good reasoning. <laughs> uh, sadly, you do need to, like, give it a second to basically charge up. But so far, we're pushing them back aggressively enough to justify these movements. <clears throat> I have to head over here. Obviously, ideally, we never go down. And I don't really want to be engaged in direct combat with any of the enemies. It's because in most scenarios, it's just not gonna pay off, you know? I guess we can go ahead though and get into the objective point right now after murdering most of their team. Well, the teammates that is. I haven't really haven't really done too much. They get a nice hit there. But so far so good. So far so good. We're capturing A extremely quickly. Okay then. I uh, don't think I want to take you on in a one-on-one -on -one engagement. But so far so good. Now this is what I'm talking about here. Like in one-on-one -on -one combat, I kind of suck. Now we got lucky. We got lucky there that he decided to miss all of his, like, left mouse button clicks. <laughs> but, um, I guess he didn't really mean to, de to decide that. But, I mean, oftentimes it's very difficult to really get value out of, you know, one-on-one -on -one combat just because of how flimsy of a target you are. Obviously, if you're really good at quick scoping and you can, like, zoom in and immediately pick off someone, it's gonna be great for you, but... 
Not really my type of strength. I'm better on heroes like Junkrat, you know, where I don't really need to aim at all. Okay, then. So B is right over there. In order to win this game, we'll have to grab B. Now, so far, it's looking pretty solid for us. I don't really want to move in there. But I guess if I can, like, sort of walk around here, this is all good. <laughs> all right, then. I guess I'll play as a rifle. I'm a rifleman now. And... I mean, I don't I don't know what's going on in this game. But we got it. All right then. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This was a bit of a lame game here to end on, but I really do need to get editing on this video cuz I have been playing for way too long. <laughs> Otherwise I won't be able to like finish off the game for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you haven't already, hit that like button if you want to see more content like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. I want to thank y'all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, and I'll see you in the next one.